Day six. January 12th. I woke up feeling really, really good today. It's pretty weird. I've been tired a lot, changing my schedule, but it worked. I don't know, I fell asleep at like nine o'clock, I woke up and I'm still kind of tired, but I felt a lot better and I, I had a great workout. Did hamstrings and crushed my shoulders. My shoulders felt real strong. Just a lot of good energy and then, you know, I. I, I guess I'm like having a little trouble with this, but man, I, you know, I just like listen to this book about like, you know, having a life plan and I've never, you know, I had like in my twenties, I don't know. I went to school for finance because people said that would make me money. Well, obviously that didn't pan out because if you don't care about it, you're not going to do a good job. I dropped out, partied a lot, didn't care. Didn't care about myself. Found a job. I worked, you know, worked up, like learned how to be a manager at a food place. It was like a restaurant chain. I did that for, oh, fuck. I don't know, like eight years, 2012 to like 2017, I think. Then I realized, like, I got to the point, I was like a general manager. I was like, I should quit. This isn't it. Like, I'm not doing anything worthwhile. I'm not shitting on those jobs. I just, I could tell that wasn't, like, I had no, like, inner sense of fulfillment. You know what I mean? And then, uh, when I did that, I decided to go back to school for tech. I didn't know what. It was something, you know, I'd always been good at. Maybe I knew I was chasing money. I'm not sure, but... So I did that, got a bachelor's degree, and I might've talked about this before, but I'm, there's a reason I'm telling the story right now. But I didn't have like a purpose. Hi. I didn't have a purpose, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't know what I wanted, so. Okay, well, quality content, I guess, but I'm gonna use it either way, because it doesn't really matter. So, I do that, I get like this big consultant job, big opportunity for like a Microsoft, like, you know, partner and I do all this stuff. Okay, all right, okay. Yes, we're real excited, I'm glad. So I do that for a while and I, oh, and I, you know, I, I truth be told, I hated it. I didn't know that I did. I was like, why can't I try hard at this? Like, why won't I push myself? Why won't I do a good job? I hated it. I wasn't happy. And then, you know, I got laid off eventually because that's the way it works. And I found more stuff. Or found another job. And I like the people here and I like the work. It's, you know, I'm learning a decent amount and it's been pretty cool, but, uh, this just, it just doesn't feel like it's what I'm supposed to do. So I've been trying to, oh my God, this is Kitty Love Fest. Let's not, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on. So I, I've been thinking about it a lot and you know, I do self-help stuff when I like randomly had the idea, we'll start recording, you know, and I said it's to journal and which is true. But honestly, like, I think it's because I know what I really want to do. And I want to help you. <laughs> like, I've been through so much like crap, like shit, you know, bad things like in my life. But if I had a purpose, it would be to help you. If you've ever felt like me, if you ever felt stuck, if you ever felt like you didn't like yourself, maybe you struggled to change, depression, anxiety, a lot of other stuff we don't have to get into. 
but maybe I'll talk about it a little bit more a little later. Okay. This is, this is how you know it's a genuine moment here, but, uh, no, I was driving on the way home and it just, it just like hit me like harder than anything's ever hit me before. And I don't know if you've ever had a moment like that where you just know it's the truth. <laughs> like, okay, probably, I would probably call it an epiphany, you know, where you just know, like when I said it out loud in my car, like driving home, I just knew. Ow. I knew. <laughs> like, that was it. And I've had some other ideas before, but never, you know, to the, doing the tech, getting the degree, like, I think that was to get me to this point, right now, at this point in time. Oh my God, January 12th, 2024. I'm 32, I'm almost 33. I've spent a lot of time the last, in the last decade, reflecting, figuring out, you know, what it is I want to do, and it's that. Because, honestly, like, the world, the world is in pain, and I want to help it. I see so many people. I talk to them. I have friends. Doing stuff for the wrong reason. I don't know why I'm counting on my hand. <laughs> Doing stuff for the wrong reasons. Not being true to themselves. Not listening to themselves. Chasing money. Chasing women. Chasing, I guess, men. You know, this isn't just one or whatever. Not even trying to be <laughs> politically incorrect. But it's more so about doing things for the wrong reason. Trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. That's one of my favorite things I've ever read. Like, pretty sure it was out of like the Tao of Pooh. It's basically like a, is that a euphem? Ah, whatever. I don't, I'm not going to try to sound smart because I don't know if euphemism is the right word, but basically it's for doing something that's not working, but you're still trying to do it anyway. So working a job you hate. Apparently she's getting pumped up. She's happy I'm doing this too, you know, working a job you hate, doing stuff you don't like. Can't change, can't be active, can't do, the, you know, whatever it is, like, I want to help people figure out how to fix that. Like, I don't have a perfect system. I don't have perfect advice. But what I am is vulnerable. And I tell the truth. And I know that when I stare at my phone and I say all this, that that is the truth. Because if you feel like me, where you're pissed off sometimes, or maybe you're frustrated, because you just, you can't get something going and you don't know why. I, I can tell you from experience, if you, if you really don't know, it's probably because you don't give a shit about it. Because whenever I try to do stuff that I don't give a shit about and I'm trying to force it, it's become very apparent to me that I could force it for a while. I could fake it. I know a lot of people do, sometimes for years. Now, I Technically, I just did it with the tech stuff for 2017. Like, I got a bachelor's degree. I remember working full-time, living with my parents, like, doing all this crap, thinking, this is it. Once I get the job, I'm going to be happy. It's like, no. That's not going to do it. It's all in here. It's all that crap. And I'm supposed to think on the inside is what I'm trying to represent. <laughs> like, like, that's what it's about. Like, fuck, man. Like, you have to really... Reflected, you have to just start and you have to chase after things to get there. I didn't fucking know. You know what I mean? I didn't have any idea that making sandwiches, turning into being a tech person, turning into a, sitting in front of my phone, recording myself, putting it on a YouTube. So on a YouTube, putting it on YouTube. So I don't get, you know what I mean? Like, I don't give a shit. You know, like. I didn't know, but I just kept doing stuff until I got to this point, to this moment where I'm driving in my car, fucking tears come out of my face. This is really funny that I'm trying to be serious and this is happening. And I, okay, she's like, nah. And I just know that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not 100% sure how, but I know that this is 
help me figure it out. And by this, I mean, come on, video recording and doing that stuff, making the videos, because now I know what the content's gonna be. It's that, like I'll track my days. That's good for me, but all I'm gonna do is talk about this kind of stuff, being stuck, how to get through it, motivational things. Like that's what I'm gonna do. Because I had the thought like, even if I do it for five years and I get only, let's say a hundred thousand views total, I would say a smaller number, but five years, like you can, you know, you'd see dumb videos that people post and they get like 10 K views and they don't have any other views on anything. Like you could probably swing it. You know, eventually I'm going to say something that will probably generate that. Right? Like anywho, 100,000 views. And let's say that's 100,000 people that I talked to. And they felt a little bit better. So maybe that day, those 100,000 people were nice to somebody. Or maybe they did something for somebody that they normally wouldn't do. You see where I'm going with this? Because that number changes really fast. And then if that is infectious and it does that, then that means that I'm doing my fucking job and I'm doing what I want to do and I'm helping people who need it because I, like I said, have struggled a lot. And to be honest, the last few years in the world have kind of sucked. Like I don't need to get into any of that. That's not what this is about. But if you, if you feel stuck like me and you're going through a period where <laughs> you're like, fuck this. Like, I feel like shit. I don't deserve to feel like shit. What do I do? How do I get there? And that's that's what this is about. And that's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to go from there. But like, if you ever have a moment like this where you feel something and you know, when you say it, it hits something in your core. And it just fucking hits you hard then you need to fucking grab and hold on to that. Like it's the last thing you've ever like felt in your life. Cause that's how I felt <laughs> when I was in my car this morning. Like that's 30 minutes ago. That's how I felt. And I'm going to post this on the internet. And I'm going to make fucking YouTube shorts out of it. And I'm going to make TikToks out of it, of me saying that shit. And I'm just going to post it because one for me, it's an exercise of vulnerability, but two, it's the fucking truth. That's what I'm going to do. That is my life goal is to help as many people as possible to avoid getting in a hole like I did, or if they're in a hole like I was to get them out of it. However, I can do that. And I think the answers will come along the way as I do this stuff. So more to come, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'll cut to the whiteboard, but epiphanies, I guess that would be today. Like if you get one, and it made it just tears you up or it makes you feel just empowered. Like you should, you should do whatever you can to chase after that or hold on to that. Cause it's one of the best feelings I've ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, this seems fine. Sometimes I do this where I write it down. Sometimes I don't. If you don't write stuff down, try it. It works. I don't know. It's helped me. I'm like, I don't know what happened in the last, like, I've only been doing this for like three weeks, which I did hear that off of Joe Rogan like years ago when I was trying to figure out what are podcasts and why should I listen to them, that uh, you can do something for three weeks, it's a habit. You can do it for three months, you can do it forever. That's probably why I still go to the gym every fucking day because I've been doing it forever. It's just part of who I am now, like, and that can happen. So... What do I fucking want to do today? I'm cursing because I am fucking pumped up. Like, I just, you know, I'm very emotional. I'm very empowered. Like I said earlier, like, if you ever feel anything remotely close to that, chase it. Because I kind of felt that when I went to school. I kind of felt that when I did. I quit my job. <laughs> like, the one that I talked about, like, I feel that way about my cat. I don't know. Like, you ever feel stuff like that that just fucking, boom, hits you, like, so hard you don't even know what that is. That's probably the realest thing you're gonna feel and that's the human experience, man. You gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, cat wants a toy turned on, hold on. 
I'll show at the end. I don't know if I've ever shown this, but there's legitimately like just it's a cat playroom slash workroom slash play video games on a computer over here. So anyway, back to this whole thing. Weekly goals are coming along. Uh, got to knock out a couple of this, uh, you know, a couple of these today, which is fine. Like I got time. I only probably gonna work a half day today. That's the way this company I work for is like they just give us give us that time back on days like before. I don't know why I'm telling you this. It doesn't matter. I got time today, basically. So. What do I want to do today? Well, we are going to have time. So now that I'm feeling all jacked up, like I need to start keeping, I need to keep making the progress. So today I'm definitely going to make my first like short video and it's probably going to be of me talking that, you know, what I just said. And I'm going to put it on TikTok, or TikTok, right? That's what it's called. And then put it on YouTube because maybe that too. That was pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah, because fuck it. I'm also gonna do research, not to be manipulative, but it's like, okay, like, can I do this better? Can my format be better? I already have some ideas of like the titles. I don't know how much descriptions come into play, but if you're gonna do something, you need to be good at it. So I can't just post videos online that just say, day one, some dumb sentence, which is what I've been doing, but I had to start to get to this point to figure out, I don't really like that, so I need to change it. So basically that whole rant was to say, Hopefully this, this view is okay. It might not be. That's okay. I don't know. But basically to say that create first TikTok slash YouTube short. Why is that important? Because it's part of the journey. And that's what I need to do. Review. Okay. Video, naming, this one's for all the tech people out there that have probably heard this a million times. Naming convention. Like I said, I'm not trying to like fake pump the views because the content that I produced up until now like really was kind of aimless and didn't really have a point. It was kind of me doing it. Well, it did. I mean, me journaling my stuff is part of this, but now I know. Like, I know that's, this is it. Like, this is what I'm going to do, so... That's fine. I don't care how long it takes. Um, that's good. So then, I mean, as far as like personal stuff, aside from, I mean, this is all personal, but you know, I need to do uh, units. I didn't do the two yesterday. I only did one. 16 and 17. Fuck, I gotta pump Duoling Duolingo. That sucks. <sighs> that's okay. I set my weekly goals late, so I need to achieve them because if you say you're going to do something, you need to do it, but I'm pissed off about it because I set the bar high because I'm trying to push myself, which is good, but it's annoying, so I may reevaluate. Like, being honest with myself, I may, depending on how today goes. Like, maybe, maybe this shit I got to do this morning is really fucking point. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, okay. I thought, whew, thought I was missing something. Um. Anyway, so we'll see. I really think that's it. Um. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. My cold plunge thing broke, which is a fucking bummer. But that's okay. Maybe that's content that comes later. You know, that's that's kind of fun for me. And, if anybody, you know, when people eventually see this, like, fun for them, because it's going to suck. But I do all this, I sit in the sauna for 30 minutes, I work out, like, 30 minutes of cardio, like, 60 to 90 minutes of weightlifting every day. I wake up early as hell. Like, I basically did all of the stuff that, like, you hear people say to do that's hard, and I didn't know why. But when I did all that shit that sucked, then people, I've been made fun of for it. It's like, you're crazy. It's like, yeah, I know. But everybody says, if you do this stuff, you'll be successful. And I can't guarantee that. But what I can guarantee is the fact that if you push yourself to do things that make you fucking uncomfortable, you're going to have epiphanies in your car, driving home, sitting at a turn, <laughs> sitting in the turning lane, being like, holy shit. I got an idea. <laughs> it felt pretty good. So that's at least what happened to me. Maybe that could happen to you if you can just start to slowly 
build on that and change yourself and make those little changes. Like I kind of talked about in my other videos, but it's just one day after another compound completely. I'm going off on a side tangent that's not important. It doesn't matter, but that's okay. So, uh, I'm like trying to think of stuff. Oh, man, I got a, I got a meal prep, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and we'll, we'll set another, this is another personal one. I've been a little lackadaisical with this or not very dedicated to it. I do it every morning for like five minutes, but like when I wake up, I'm like kind of anxious. So it kind of gets my mind right, but I think it would benefit me to do another meditation session for like five to 10 minutes a day. I'll make it easy. I'm just going to do five because 10 makes me, it makes me feel annoyed. Like 10 sounds long and I don't want to do that, but it sounds like I can't, you know? So I'm gonna make it easy. I'm gonna do meditate five minutes. If that's something that you wanna to do too, just get a fucking app. I don't know how many there are now, but I've been paying Headspace tons of money for like, well not tons, they're pretty reasonable, but like, and they always run deals and you can refer a friend and stuff, but man, I think I've been doing that for fucking two years. So, pretty good. I just think when you track stuff, like it, it'll tell me every day that I'm doing it. Something, your brain will like it. At least my brain does. Like it, it, it matters. Affirmations. I mean, I'm already vulnerable. I guess I might as well. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to write some stuff down. I mean, I mean the stuff that I'm writing down, but I Let's make these. I'm only gonna do a certain number today. I'm gonna keep it real simple because I feel I like, this is one of those days where I don't feel like I need to put, as weird as it sounds, I need to do the work and I need to put the stuff down, but like I don't need encouragement because I feel like I got it already today. Like I got it like by having a good night's sleep and seeing the progress already happen, like I've lost weight. But you haven't seen all of it because I just started recording like six days ago, but like I'm down almost 10 pounds. Some of it's water weight, doesn't matter. This is helping me move the needle, help me move forward every day. Stuff like this can help you, like if you do it. <laughs> it can. Uh, I am dedicated. That's a good one. Because I am, I feel very empowered. I, I, and I've been writing this one every day. I'm gonna keep writing it because I don't know what happened today is pretty monumental for me. I guess opportunity uh, and abundance. So. Yeah, not a not a crazy day, but I think this is the content I need. So, I'm trying to think if I even want to check back in. I had some other ideas this morning about like showing you all I eat and talking about it because it's funny. But maybe I'll add that in a little bit later. I'm kind of like in the mood to. I really want to get this stuff uploaded. Just put it out there. Oh, excuse me. Those athletic greens, man. Andrew Huberman, Huberman pumps them, and they had, they made me feel better. But sometimes, you know, uh, so I don't have a ton of shit that I need to do today. But these things are like big emotionally because they're part of what I was talking about with like the bigger goal. So part of me is really gun ho too. Like I'm all pumped up and I'm thinking about this. So like if I can do all this and I get this done like real fast, like let's say I get it done like this morning, there's a part of me that thinks, can I spend seven or eight hours today now that I got momentum sitting down and writing a life plan? And I think the answer is yes. Because if I write a life plan on the day that I have an epiphany about what I want to do, I don't know what fucking else would make sense. <laughs> if you think about it. So I'm going to quit ranting. I'm going to slow down. I'm gonna knock this stuff out, play with my cat, because she's been wanting my affection. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy to officially, I guess, like, it only took six days, but happy to officially know, like, why I'm doing this and what we're gonna do together, you know? Come along for the ride. Like, I'm dedicated to helping whoever it is that needs it. I really am, so. 
À, that's it. Fuck it. Maybe I'll do another one later. I have a feeling I'm just gonna upload this. This shit's getting done today, and if I do the life plan, I got a feeling that tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning's gonna be a crazy one. So get ready. All right. Yeah, let's, let's work on the angle here. It's a little, this could be better. Gotta get Fox in there though. That's the, that's the money maker. I'm just kidding. We're wrapping today up. Today took a, a good positive turn. I'm not, it's, I'm just going over like, kind of, when you get an epiphany, like, am I even in this shot? Yeah, I have to be, because I can see the white blood, like, when you get an epiphany, dude, you just kind of, you really have to fucking run with it. Like, there is, I don't know, anything that incites, like, anything that's going to give you, like, a reason to do something, and you feel motivated, never ignore that and do the same thing. It's like, never just go back to doing what you're doing when you feel something like that, even if it feels small at first, because if you think about it, if you have small things that make you motivated, do small things and then I say small things again no but like you know the small things build into like the medium things that build into the large things they build into things like this where it's like ah shit like that's a that's a life changer that's like a I gotta run with that and do whatever I can so yeah I don't I mean I'll probably we'll uh the Spanish is important to me but I spent most of today uh I talked to some people that are important to me about like what I thought about like my epiphany and like going over it. Um, had a lot of thought provoking conversation around it. Uh, took a nap because it felt really good. So that's where I'm at. And uh, yeah, so I think mainly what I wanna focus on is I'm not gonna worry. I already did this, so I was able to, I'm gonna make fun of myself here. I had a pro tip. If you're not using chat GPT, at least as like a way to research and find a foundational or foundational insight into like something you're doing. Like for me, like finding like this video naming convention or thinking about it, like I wanna be original and I don't want it to just be like chat GPT, like nonsense, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I mean, it can help you like have ideas about like descriptions and stuff. It's a useful tool. Like I've used it for planning, organizing like ideas on, I know when I've had other ideas on stuff to work on just as a place to start, instead of Googling it and not having any like idea where to begin. Like, I mean, you can watch me and I can tell you write down three things a day and just complete those three things and do that at first. If you're fucking stuck, that's good but eventually you're gonna to need to build on that, which is something I wanna help with. But also, real talk, like you can ask that thing, it'll give you some ideas. Anyway. So I don't think I'm gonna worry about this today. Like I, you know, I'll do the quest, that's like the main thing. I wanna keep that habit consistent as there's like a quest on Duolingo. I'm not pumping Duolingo here and just talking. So uh, I did this, I was real pumped at that this morning. Uh, I actually haven't done this. I'll do that after this video. That that's five minutes. I'll just go sit outside, headspace, you know. Boop. So the only thing I need to do is make the TikToks and the YouTube shorts, and I'm just gonna make them the same. I saw that you can make TikTok videos three minutes, so I'm gonna use like the video editing software that I have to do that. But nah, man, when you get the, <laughs> you get you get like a ping from the universe or whatever you want to call it, like. And it's like, hey, do this, and then it makes you feel really emotional and really excited. Fucking do it. Like, don't just be like, meh. Nah, that's probably nothing. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't think you get emotional about stuff and then you just, meh. Netflix. <laughs> meh. World of Warcraft. You know, like, not dogging those things. I like to watch Netflix and... I got through phases of World of Warcraft. I get KSM. That's my new thing. Anybody knows what that is, but I'm not gonna ramble for this. I want this to be quick. I gotta tie this all together, not edit it, because I like to just upload it raw and then go from there. So, uh, yeah, 
Uh, boom, boom, boom. So tomorrow's a big day. I am going to do the whole life plan thing based on the book I read. And then, you know, it's looking like the weekly goals are going to be met. I'm going to probably, after I create the life plan, have to sit there and pump Duolingo just out of habit and out of force. But that's, uh, that's the whole discipline thing, I guess. Like, you kind of got to make yourself do the shit you're going to, you know, you say you're going to do. Or what's the point in saying you're going to do it? Then you're just creating cognitive dissonance, and I could, I could talk about that for like three days, so I don't know. I don't know why I grabbed the marker to do that, I guess. That's it. I'm done. And I have to walk up to the camera, and I'm not editing it out either.